Welcome back, Stomp Wrestling fam. Boy, do we got another one for you guys today. It's the man, the one and only, MPKH, filtered, unfiltered, whatever persona I feel like you're doing best. And I'm joined today with Mr. No Days Off, Mr. Wrestle Drop. And we're here today to discuss one main event of All Out involving CM Punk versus John Moxley to unify the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. So let's first let's first address something. CM Punk is back, like we all expected to happen. CM Punk is back. He made his he made his mark on Moxley saying, I'm coming for my title. So Mr. Russell Drop, how are we feeling about CM Punk's return? And what's next for Punk? I thought we were going to miss him at All Out. I didn't think he was going to be ready. Because it was all these reports that he was still in pain, struggling. So I thought, ah, he's just going to make an appearance at All Out because it's in Chicago. And that's about it. I didn't think we could get him back for a match. None of that. I thought, okay, they're just going to move on with it for now. But to see him after the match against Jericho come back, it was quite crazy. It's crazy, actually shocking mm. although tony did he did uh give a little hint out there saying if you if you miss tonight's show you're gonna regret it so uh, yeah i'm pretty sure i kind of missed it i'm kind of the guy that loves a good surprise without any hints no but I yeah agree. that's just that's just me now we gotta talk about who should come victorious at all out are we team CM Punk or are we team John Moxley? It's got to be Punk. So it's got to be Punk. Oh, yeah. It's got to be Punk. I'm tired of Moxley's reign. Even though it's an interim title reign, I'm tired of it. It's gotten stale. It's gotten boring. But I suppose that's because he's the interim champion. So can't really face any big competitors because you've got to kind of leave those competitors for Punk. So it has become a bit stale. So I don't want to see it continue. Punk's got to, he's got to win his title. Yeah, I'm also going to have to say, as much as I love Moxley, and I think he's had a solid year, whether you want to admit it or not, yeah, CM Punk has to win at all outs. CM Punk definitely needs that win. He's got to. We need the another summer of Punk that didn't happen, but we need a Punk reign. It would have been uh, wrestling's I biggest what ifs if Punk loses. Like, what would Bro, his title have been? I don't, I don't know how... I don't know how people are going to feel about Moxley winning it all out. Some might like it, some may not. And we know how the Chicago fan, fan base is. They won't oh. love it at all. Moxley will be instant heel. Maybe that's a thing. Hmm. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe Moxley wins heel turn. Because that's the perfect place in Chicago. If you really want to do it organically... Oh, a, a heel John Moxley. That is something that's going to. Oh, maybe that's how they that do shit. it. Maybe that's how they do it if they really want to. But I don't see it happening, obviously. But it's an option. It's a bigger option. And also, why I think CM Punk should win at All Out is because, not like you said, Summer Punk Two. Also, we never got to see a full CM Punk Summer World Punk. Championship. <laughs> Summer Punk 3, not 2. Oh, no, some, Summer Punk 3. Well, it's going for autumn in America, so we'll call it the autumn of punk. So, yeah, I think it stems to basically not him having a proper world, cha world championship run like we all expected it. Because when he won the championship at double or nothing, we all knew what was going to happen. We, we didn't expect the matches that were going to come. We just had it in our heads. We dreamed of this, the matches that Punk was going to have. But it was a matter of how they were going to execute it. And we never got that because of the whole injury for like one to two months, which was a bummer for all of us. Yeah, I remember how excited we were when Punk won. It was We were Ooh. so hyped up for the summer of Punk 3. I'm, I'm reiterating three because I know people will come at us in the comments if we forget about his ROH Summer of Punk. 
Um, <laughs> but it, it was disappointing when he got injured. So I definitely want to see him win and have a good run. And eventually put someone over in the end. Someone who's going to be that guy to end Punk's reign. That's going to be a big deal. It's and really the end game up. of that, and the end game of that is, is, is definitely MJF. I mean, come on. If it's, it's too obvious. If this whole thing's a work, that is. We still don't know. We still, still up in the air. So if it's a work, then MJF's definitely. I think he might appear at all out. Oh, he will most definitely appear. I am, I am banking on it. You think so? Oh yeah, like he's been out for like say two months since his since his promo. I cannot like I cannot watch AEW without MJF. That's just it. <laughs> yeah, AEW without MJF and Punk, Kenny to an extent. That's that's been tough. Some of it's been tough. Yeah. Moxley's done his part. Oh yeah, Moxley's done his part, but because these guys aren't on TV. Moxley has to have a match every week. And with Moxley having a match every week, his opponents just look weaker and weaker. Or they are weaker and weaker. They don't look weaker. I mean, they some of them are a bunch of nobodies. Got to be honest. So that made the whole run stale. So to have some of these guys back on TV, uh, Moxley won't have to be having a match every week over and over. With bleeding, with this, with that. The same gimmick every week. So... It'd be good to have some names back. Oh uh, yeah, most definitely. Also, if CM Punk wins, what what's next for John Moxley? That's a question I was going to ask you. Actually, I don't know what's next for Moxley because I'm finding with this whole BCC and Jericho Appreciation Society feud, I'm finding the BCC stale right now. Like Daniel Bryan, uh, uh. Brian Daniels. Brian Danielson has been out so much, so that's been that's been on and off. So that's put it a bit stale. Um, Claudio, he's been there, but he's not really offered much since he won his title. Moxley has been doing off doing his own things, so it's kind of like the whole yeah. BCC is just up in the air right now. Yuta's Yuta and William Regal doing their thing sometimes. It's just I don't know. So where they go from there, I'm not sure. I saw reports that they want to continue mm. the feud after All Out between the BCC and Jericho Appreciation Society. Oh boy, I'm not a fan of that. I'm not going to be a fan. fan of that feud. But I'm supporting the BCC either way because yeah. hey, I really like Max, Anderson, and Claudio are there. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. I like the faction. I just think the feud has just made it so stale. It really has mm. and brian danielson being out on out of tv so often it's just all become like it feels like it was it started like two years ago already the bcc it feels like it was two years ago that it started when in truth it was a couple months that's how i feel with it right now so what oh, do you yeah. think moxie does afterwards since that was your original question yeah i'm also gonna have to say bcc versus jas feud for the next six months because that's how long it's going to be let's be real so yeah i mean i wanted the jericho versus kingston feud to end since how long but that shit's still going on well we haven't so, seen yeah. kingston for a while so since the mm. bob wire match have we seen kingston uh he came out he came out for the post match from Jericho versus Moxley the other oh, night. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But in in ring action, I don't. I haven't seen him wrestle since. Promos. That's all I know. I haven't seen promos either. I might have missed one because he does a lot of backstage promos, but I haven't really noticed mm-hmm. as much of Eddie King. So, which is not a bad thing because we saw a lot of him. So, yeah, no, you guys know I'm not an Eddie Kingston fan, so I couldn't care less. So yeah, I prefer everything he does outside of the ring his promos are excellent his storytelling is excellent but in the ring it's just yeah yeah doesn't mash well leaves a lot but to be anywho, desired but anywho i definitely think bcc versus jas is going to happen and the members 
and uh, Kingston's gonna be the fifth member of BCC. Let's be real. You think so? And yeah, I see Kingston I mean, staying on his own. Well, he's got that relationship with Mox. Yeah. Oh wait, actually, actually, I don't think he's gonna join because he's got that beef with Danielson and Claudio. Exactly. Which. Which we'll talk about one day. Claudio versus Kingston we'll talk about on another day. Oof. So yeah. That's just how I think it's going to be. Because let's be real. Like I said, 2022, whether you want to admit it or not, has been the year of John Moxley. I think we can all say that. Yeah. I'd agree. Not sure I've enjoyed it, but it's definitely been his year. <laughs> uh huh. So back to, yeah. the, back to the topic at hand. Who do you think going to be Punk? If it's not MJF, so let's rule out MJF. Let's say he's not going to appear yet. Who do you think Punk has a feud with them? Because before you answer that, we've uh, been I, saying... I, sorry, before you answer that, we've been saying we want a Punk run, <coughs> an extended run, but at the same time, we're saying MJF might appear all out. So it's kind of a catch-22. So if it's not MJF, who do you think? Hmm. That's actually an interesting question because there's a lot of guys I want to see go up against Punk, but I'm not so sure who should be the first challenger, really. But the match that I do want to see one day, and hopefully I get during Punk's world title reign, is CM Punk versus Brian Danielson. I was thinking the same thing. Hopefully it it gets booked right, and the promos are fire, and the match quality lives up to the hype. That's the match I'm keen for. Yeah, but just give me a full-on heel Danielson. Don't give me a in-between Danielson. A tweener. Yeah, a give, tweener me, Danielson. give me a full-on heel Danielson against Face Punk. Then I'll be happy. Mm. But here's another thing I wanted to notice. Am I really going to want a babyface CM Punk May, throughout the title reign but during the course of his AEW run definitely not because I don't know if you've noticed but some of the feuds that I've seen with Punk is basically everybody dislikes CM Punk like he's going to turn on the fans blah 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 it just feels kind of as I've seen it twice or three times I'm not sure and it feels kind of like boring to me the whole face punk you, you rate face punk is boring is that what you're saying no, no no like the whole cm punk versus anybody feud that's oh, just I how i think i understand what you're saying face punk face punk is perfect no i the get whole... what you're saying the Any angle that the that hill runs with so the angle that yes. the hill uses which is that punk's gonna turn on the turn on everybody and all that okay i see what you're saying yeah because hangman did it mjf yeah. did it a few i don't know who else did it kingston, but, uh, kingston did it kingston did it yeah so it's like the same i don't feud. think darby allen did it i don't think darby did it so no yeah I, I kind of agree with that i think a lot of that other than mjf is down to him facing other faces kingston um hangman so they gotta run with the angle that doesn't make them look bad do you know what i'm saying whereas mjf oh, stick yeah. is he's a realist he's he's doesn't play around with fictitious things he's like straight to the point so i think if you have a proper heel like danielson in in a heel form or someone else um i think it'll be a different story i don't think they'd have to mm. run with that angle oh yeah i don't think so either also any anything that cm punk does hopefully it gets hopefully it looks good if not Brian Danielson, which I don't want to be the first match, mm. I would suggest uh, this is a bit of a stretch. How about I would I wouldn't mind CM Punk versus Powerhouse Hobbs. That would be my guilty pleasure. I could see it as long as Hobbs gets over in a certain way. Not saying over in the whole thing win the title, but as long as Hobbs looks good in the end, I wouldn't mind it. Oh yeah, because I would not mind seeing anybody 
of heel status go up against Punk. And it would elevate him. It would definitely elevate mm-hmm. him, to be honest. I could see that. Oh, uh, yeah. If you want to book Paz Hobbs as a dominant, a dominant big heel, go for it. And if you want to keep, and if you want to make Punk look like a strong babyface champion, that should be the first match. I wouldn't mind seeing that. That's my guilty pleasure. That's actually a, a good shout. I agree with that. I agree with that. Because I can't think of anyone else that might be too soon in his run. So like mm-hmm. Danielson or a returning Kenny Omega, even though I think he might be in the trios tournament, but that's a video for another day. Everyone else oh, seems yeah. like too big of an opponent for the first feud. I kind of want Punk to get established with someone that he should be beating, but at the same time putting them over in mm-hmm. whatever way Punk will. So I like, I think, the, I like the Hobbs shot. Oh yeah. And I definitely think CM Punk will definitely play a role in having to put the, and having to put his rival over. Even if in, in defeat, he'll still manage to put them over. Like it's Punk. He wants the best for himself and for the talent. What about pushing someone up, someone else further up the card? Like, uh, like Miro, for instance. Oh, yes. I definitely wanted to talk about that. Because he's not yeah, doing much. I actually, well, he's got this whole feud. House, with House of Black. It sounds like he's, so, yeah. it feels like he's playing second fiddle to um, Darby Allen and Sting's feud. Like House of Black's yeah. having two feuds at once and it's like a, it's a bit annoying. But anyway, that's not the topic here. If not, then I can definitely, I can definitely see Punk versus Miro. I can definitely see it. I could see it as well. I think it could be good. Could be good to get Miro What's to a- main event status thereafter. Most definitely. Especially with his Redeemer, with his Redeemer run. It would look so good. Whether he wins or loses, I still wouldn't mind. As what, about, as what about Malachi good. Black? Oh, that's that's a bit of a far fetch in my opinion. Too soon. Because I don't know. Yeah. Not saying that it shouldn't happen. I'm just saying it's a bit of a far fetch. I think you'll be involved in the trio's title anyway, to be honest. Yeah. But yeah, those are some the possibilities of a CM Punk world title reign are endless. Whether you want him to go up against Powerhouse Hobbs. Miro, Danielson, MJF, hell, even throwing some Orange Cassidy. Oh, boy. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> uh, Please trolling. do not do that. He's going to end up like Wardlow if you do that. Oh, boy. Trust me, it's Tony Khan. He'll find a way to put Orange Cassidy in a world title match. Just so he can dress Trust. up like him for Halloween next year again. <laughs> Oh boy. So yeah, Orange Cassidy slander is going to stay on this on this channel for sure. if you guys love it. That's it's sticking around. It's, between me and him, we're going to slander Orange Cassidy any day of the week. I'll respect <laughs> some of the things he does in the ring, like the um Osprey match, but the character just annoys me, so the slander stays. Me too. Me too. But anyways, Enough about the Orange Cassidy criticism. Enough about that. We just want to know from you, the Stomp Wrestling family, what do you guys think? Do you think you'll get CM Punk reign again? Are you Team Punk or are you Team Moxley? Let us know in the comments what you think. And who should Punk, if Punk is to win, who do you think he should face first? Let us know that as well. Please. But... That is it from us today. It's been the filtered unfiltered is off wrestle drop here. And we will see you guys in the next video. And that is just too sweet.